Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. And this tutorial came to me from uh, my day job. Basically, we had a four-hour video that we needed to chop into four little sections, a one-hour sections each. So I was thinking, hmm, can you do that in iMovie easily? So I went into iMovie and checked. and uh, It's not the easiest, but I did find a couple ways, and I'd like to show you how to do that. So here's our little clip. I'm only going to use a, a you know a short clip so it doesn't have to render too much. But basically what you're going to do is chop this into four pieces based on how long you need it. So for example, if you need an hour, eight, 60 minutes each, you, you do that. So what I'm going to do is I'll do command B, but you can also just right click and split right there. Right. Oops. Right there and right there okay so now we have four separate little clips here and what we want to do is make them into four individual movies unfortunately there's not a really easy way to do it the best way you can do it that i've come up with one of the ways is basically you highlight each clip and you do a command c to copy or you right click and you copy okay now you're going to go back and let's call this main we'll just call it main so now you're to your spot where you can actually your projects and you can create a new one. We're going to create a new one, a new movie, and we're going to paste it. So that'll be our first one. And iMovie saves automatically. So if you wanted to name this, you can just hit projects again and say part one of, of four, let's say. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to our main. We'll copy either right click copy or that command C. So I'll do command C this time. And then we'll go back. We'll do a new one. And we're gonna paste it, command V or right click paste. Then I'll go back and I'll call this one part two of four. And I, I think you get the idea, but I will finish doing this. So now part C, command C copy, go back. Create a new one. We'll paste here. We'll go back, call this part three of four. Then we'll go back to our main and we'll grab this last one here. We'll command C to copy or right click and copy. Go back, create a new one. Paste it. Go back and we'll say part four of four. So now if we go back to our projects, we have the main, which is the full one. And we got part one, two, three, and four. And of course, what you do is go into each one of those. And uh, depending if you needed to edit anything or not, say, for example, you're finished editing, you'll just go to your share button here and just export to file. Go into your settings. What do you want to do here? high and then maybe I usually do better quality so that's my usual settings for a 1080p and then just next and export it to your desktop so that'd be one then you just go through one two three and four and that's how you make four separate clips or videos out of one big one okay there's one more way to do it which uh, depending on I don't like this as much but I'm gonna show you anyways so if you have your, your video here, this 14.5 second video, what you can do is do your in points and your out points. So I for in and O for out. So you scroll your mouse to, you know, like a quarter of the way through it and then you hit O. So this point here, as long as it's highlighted, you can actually go here and share export and it's going to export that little short clip here. And what you do is just name it part one. And then what you do again is uh, use your mouse and try to find that same location. You'll hit I and you go to where you want it to go out. So we'll do, I guess, O here. So again, this little section is highlighted. So you go share, export movie. And you go back here where your mouse is and you hit I. And you scroll to about, you know, the middle point or wherever you're at and hit O. And then, you know, again, mouse here, I, and then to the end. And then again, each part you would export. But the only problem with this, it doesn't really give you the ability to edit it on the spot. You'd have to re-import it in and stuff like that. So 
It's the second way, but if you just want to do quick and dirty, you know you're not going to edit at all, maybe it's an option for you. Okay, I hope that helps. Of, of course, it's not the best. It's not the easiest, but there is a way to do it. If you're using Final Cut Pro or you're using DaVinci Resolve, there's much easier ways to do this. And I think I'm going to do uh, tutorials for both of those coming up pretty soon. Probably more toward Thanksgiving holiday or Christmas, but uh, when I have some time. But yeah, if you're an iMovie user, that's how you do it. I want to thank everybody for watching. As usual, don't forget peace and aloha. We'll see you next time.